Sean, 5-1 here uh, today at Playmore. It's been quite an afternoon and what an atmosphere it's been at Playmore today. Yeah, it was brilliant. I was quite surprised with the turnout and it's just brilliant. All the fans were there to see how well we played, especially in the second half. So, um, yeah, no, it was a good win. Difficult start, fell like a goal behind and obviously with results going against us in recent weeks, did you feel the determination within the squad to actually turn that around? It must be difficult to start with. Yeah, it was, it was difficult. I felt we created quite a few chances in the first 15-20 minutes and we didn't particularly play too well, but we created two or three goal scoring opportunities. And then they scored, to be fair to me, I thought quite a good goal, a shot from outside the box and fair play to the lad, he struck it well and it went in. And, but then it, obviously we're professional football players, we've got to take what comes sometimes and show our resilience and we've done that today. Because it's not as if the team haven't been created chances in, in recent weeks and sometimes in football it does happen like that, that eventually one team will cop it and unfortunately it's for Welling today. Yeah, exactly. I think it was the same story last week. We were the better team, in my opinion, against Maidstone and we lost 2-0. So um, I thought we defended well as a team today because I think it's collective. Been working on that. I think um, the training ground stuff that we've been doing has been bang on this week and I think it showed today. I think we just wanted to prove a point and then really crack on now. You're going to fall a goal behind. How important was it to get those two quick goals just before the interval? Yeah, it was really important. I think Giles was magnificent today. Um, in my opinion, I thought he was man of the match. So um, fair play to Giles. I thought he was bang at it. And Brad's runs, I think sometimes they go unnoticed how well he runs off Giles. I think um, he didn't score today, I don't think, but he could have had a hat trick. But that shows how well him and Giles um, linked up. And I think like Brad and Jarvis will be a, a force to be reckoned with in this league. Now I think we've done quite well to get this play into the interview without talking about your goal. Go on then, Sean, talk us through it. Oh, it was magnificent, wasn't it? <laughs> no, it was a good goal. It was a great ball by Stobbsy. We've worked on that during the week. That doesn't just happen. Um, so, yeah, we, we, especially Thursday, Fridays, we work a lot on our set pieces. The gaffer tells me to do that run. And thankfully, I stayed calm and polished it in, yeah. <laughs> well, you showed us all that you had it in your locker and it was nice having the community stand in the Warrens Terrace there, packed out, and for you to celebrate in front of all of them. I think you've got a few new, a few new admirers in there now. I know, it was nice, because usually that can be quite empty, obviously it's the way supporters and to have them all in there today and to witness a decent goal, um, I'm glad they got to see it. So 5-1 here today, but it is just three points. It's now important that we've set our focus on the next game, Western Supermail on Tuesday, because that's going to be a really tough encounter. Yeah, I think it's going to be a, a big game. I think it's sold out, um, and we want to we want to go that, down there and get the job done. Brilliant. Thank you for joining us, Sean, and congratulations on the goal and the victory today. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you.